Hey loves, as you already read in the title, today's video is how I customize my satin bunnet from start to finish. If you would like to see this bunny tutorial in detail, I suggest you click in the i-cards above or in the description box below. This clip right here is a project I made in Cricut Design Space. If you are a Cricut user, I have my project link below, as well as the SVG file for those who don't use Cricut. You are also free to make your own design if you want to get a little bit more creative or if you don't feel comfortable using the same exact one as I did. Okay, so after you click the link to the project, you want to go ahead and press make it. Then after you press make it, you want to go ahead and mirror your images because we will be using iron on vinyl. And so after you mirror all of your images, you want to go to your mats and arrange them so nothing is overlapping and everything will have enough space to cut out. I didn't have much black vinyl to work with, only scraps. That's why you see me taking one of my images and moving them to a different mat with the same color. So the next step after arranging your mats, go ahead and click continue. Then your next step would be to make sure your material is set to the right material. If you are using glitter iron-on, make sure you go to custom and then type in glitter iron-on should pop up. And if you're using regular iron-on, just turn your dial over to iron-on. This is an old clip, but this is how you load your mat and start cutting. The same button you click when you load your mat will be the same exact button that you click when you unload your mat. After you unload your last mat, press finish and don't forget to save your project if you haven't already done so. As noted on the screen, you will need a pillowcase or a piece of fabric and a protective sheet such as parchment paper. And you will also need an iron. Insert the pillowcase like so and this is so that you can have a flat even surface when you're applying your heat transfer vinyl. to silk and I made sure that I have it on no steam. If you do happen to leave your steam on, you may see yourself leaving bubbles inside of your heat transfer vinyl. 
When I use HTV on shirts, I typically use a ruler, especially if I have a large order to make sure everything is even and accurate as possible. But for this bunny, I'm just simply eyeballing it. If you would like to use a ruler, you can. If not, then you just eyeball it as well. When eyeballing it, you also want to cut the excess paper off so you can get the best visual as possible. The parchment paper can help you see your design clearly and it also serves as a protective barrier whenever you start applying heat to your fabric. After everything was to my liking, I began to apply heat for 20 seconds apiece. When you're applying your heat, make sure you use firm, even pressure. I feel like the design was too plain at first, so that's why I added a hashtag. And if you click the Cricut link below, as well as the SVG file, the hashtag is included. Here's the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to educate, encourage, and empower. And I'll see you all in my next video.